Hey guys, I'm Penny from Plumcraft. In today's video, we're going to show you how to replace your old bathroom drain. You'll need just a few tools. A bucket and a sponge or towel. An adjustable wrench. A pair of channel lock pliers. A putty knife. And a hacksaw. To remove the old pop-up. Remove the lift rod. Here, we're showing a clear shot of this from behind the sink and without the wall in the way, so you can see exactly what needs to be done. Lift strap, pivot rod, and spring clip. Remove the pop-up plug. Loosen the slip nut that fastens the tailpiece to the P-trap and disconnect the trap. Loosen and unscrew the large nut that secures the pop-up assembly to the underside of the sink while holding the flange in the sink above. Use pliers to grab it if it's too tight. Scrape off any plumber's putty and clean the rim of the basin hole. Wipe with a clean rag or paper towel. New pop-up. Position new pop-up assembly into the sink to see if the length of the tailpiece fits properly at the drain or measure it to the old one. Cut it to size with a hacksaw if needed. Remove protective film from the new flange and pop-up plug. Roll some plumber's putty into the shape of a pencil and apply it to the underside of the new flange. Push the flange into the basin hole. The excess putty will squeeze out of the sides when you push it in, and even more when you tighten the assembly. That's okay. Screw the pop-up assembly into the flange from the underside of the sink. Make sure the tapered end of the large rubber washer is facing the underside of the sink, while the flat plastic washer is between the large rubber washer and the lock nut. Once again, we're showing a clear shot of this from behind the sink and without the wall in the way. Position the socket that accepts the pivot ball rod toward the back of the sink. Then, tighten the lock nut fully up the pop-up assembly, up to the basin hole of the sink. Do not over-tighten. From above the sink, insert and position pop-up plug so that the hole at the bottom of the plug is aligned when inserting the pivot ball rod into the socket thread. Place the retaining nut back onto the socket. Then, hand tighten only. Do not over tighten. Place one end of the metal spring clip onto the pivot ball rod and slip the end of the rod through one of the middle holes in the lift strap. Place the other end of the spring clip onto the pivot rod. There are five holes on the lift strap for adjustment purposes. Slide the lift rod down through the back of the faucet and hole in top of the lift strap. Adjust for the best pop-up plug action and tighten the thumb screw. Attach the drain of the trap to the pop-up assembly tailpiece and tighten. Check for leaks and you're done. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for great plumbing how-tos. Like and comment below, share the video, and as always, if you have any questions or suggestions, please let us know. Here at Plumcraft, we love helping our customers. Enjoy your working drain.